Hi, this is Mr. Spradlin, and in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about making a component in Google SketchUp 8. Now there are three steps to making a component. Step one, you need to draw the object. Step two, you'll select the object. And step three, you're going to choose Make Component from the menu. For step one, draw the object. I've already got this lovely plum tree right here. Now step two, I need to select the object. So I'll get my black arrow tool and I'll draw a box around my object. But if you're watching carefully, you may have noticed that I got something else I didn't want to get. Mr. Sang here is also selected. So I made a little bit of a mistake in my selection. Whenever you select your, your object to make a component, make sure you don't get anything else in the background. Watch your camera angles, make sure there's nothing in the way. So by watching my camera angles, I can ensure that I get a good selection. Another good way to get this is often with an overhead view. If you orbit to directly overhead, it makes it a lot easier to get around all the other objects in the way. You, you can try that. Or, if all else fails, you can try the shift click selection. Here I'll draw a box around it and I'll get sang by mistake again. So I'm going to orbit around, see what I missed, and see what I uh, got by mistake. And since I have sang in there and I don't want them, I'll get my black arrow tool, I'll hold down shift, and I'll click on sang to unselect them. So by doing that, I can take sang out of the selection without messing with the rest of the tree. Anyway, regardless of how you get there, you've got a selection now. The next step is to go on to step three, which is choose Make Component from the Edit menu. Go to Edit, come down to Make Component, click right there, and then we get the Make Component dialog box. Now there's a lot of stuff in here, but we can ignore almost all of it. All we really need is the name, I'll call it Plum Tree, and a description. This is an awesome plum tree by Mr. Spradlin. When you make uh, components for class, always be sure to include your name somewhere in the description so that I know who made what. But get the name, get the description, everything else we can just ignore in this class, and hit Create. Now we have a component. See that blue box around it? It's a component now. That means a lot of things. First of all, I can't push and pull it anymore because it's all one solid piece. But I can select it with a single click and I can do awesome stuff like rotating the whole thing with the move command. Any direction I want. What's also really handy with a component is you can go to the window menu and choose components. That will get you this components box here. And if you've been messing with this, you might want to get it back to the right view. Click on the little arrow next to the home and choose in model. That'll show you all the components that are in your current model. And you can drag out as many copies as you want. So I can make a whole orchard of plum trees here just by dragging these out and placing them in my model. Go ahead and close that. Oops, looks like we've got a little bit of a collision there. I'll move this plum tree over so they're not overlapping. It's not good for the plums. Now, the interesting thing about components is that even though we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plum trees here, I actually only have one. I have one plum tree component and a bunch of different copies of it. But they're all the same. If I double click this plum tree, I'm going to get into a mode where I can edit this plum tree. And I'm going to add one more plum on this side. And you see when I do that, it pops up on all the other ones too. Get my paint bucket out. Fill in the plum. That's a big plum. And it gets filled in on all the other ones. If I need to make my tree a little bit taller, I make them all taller at once. Or all shorter. Anything you do to the one version of the component happens to all the other ones too. This is one of the things that makes components so powerful. You can have one version of something that you use over and over throughout your entire file, and all you have to do is make changes in one place, they all get updated at once. If I had just copied and pasted this, it wouldn't have worked. I would only change the one I'm working on right then. I'll click anywhere outside of this dotted box here to get back into the main file. There we are. And now we have my new plum on all the trees at once, slightly different height on the tree, 
one of the many things we can do with components.